Hey, 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 good evening. It's your lucky Captain Jack. Tonight I'm bringing you my first impression of the Corbay. This is actually the second time that I've owned the Corbay since I accidentally deleted it the first time. Well, just kidding. It was not an accident. I deleted it because I had finished it out and figured, hey, I don't need it anymore. I already have the Britan. So I got rid of it. And, uh... I immediately regretted the decision because I, I considered the possibility that, oh, maybe they will bring it back to me in a crate. And they did. Last night I got it back. So I figured, hey, all right, we'll take it out. We'll run it. We'll show the masses how the thing per fires and all the things that there is to dislike about it. And uh, and we'll go from there. Anyhow, in case you didn't see, the, the Corbet has six turrets on it, six double gun turrets. Um, Two, two four, two aft, and one on each side. Um, so, no matter which side you pick, you can bring five guns into the fight uh, if you're willing to wait for the, the turret rotation. Wait, <laughs> wait for the guns to traverse around and, and look at what you're looking at. So anyway, here we go. Uh, we're, we're sailing off and uh, almost detected right away. We don't have any, de any uh, destroyer ahead of us. Our destroyer spawned at the back and does not appear to be in any sort of hurry whatsoever to get up in the fight. So we're going to sail on our own. Um, it's a tier 3 fight, so I wasn't totally seem to be saying about most ships at this tier. I won't say warship. all ships at this tier, but most. We are able to fire basically straight ahead at this Kaiser, which is good because if he had been to either side, um, we would not have been able to fire around that quickly. The 180 degree turn time for these turrets is like 58 seconds. And yeah, you probably get that a little bit down with commander perks and whatnot, but it is just abysmally slow. So bad that you'll see it as, as this battle goes along when I and, and, uh, focus on one target and then I go to, to uh, transition to aiming at a different guy. And just watch the guns turn. It's like there's, there's a little Oompa Loompa in there, turning a crank, trying to get these guns to turn. And maybe it was not Oompa Loompa so much, but maybe maybe they were manual manual turning. I don't know. Old school Humvee turrets had a crank in it before they started making the pneumatic. So who knows? Um, anyway, so we we see some stuff. We fire a couple rounds. We're able to do a little bit of damage right away at that Kaiser with those forward facing guns. And now we've turned to the to the port side, turned left are gonna start engaging that free on. But, you notice the baby guns. And I love baby guns, don't get me wrong. Baby guns are some of my first indicators that uh, my teammates didn't help me out and I was not at all situationally aware. Torpedoes, astern. Baby guns can be the first thing to let you know, oh damn, something bad is about to happen to me if I don't turn and address the problem. So I turned and addressed the problem. I looked around, so, oh, there's a destroyer sneaking up on us and maybe we should do something about it. Pop us around to him. The teammates finally start engaging a little bit. So we're free to go back and look at what we were going to do. Which is a whole slew of ships. Whole freaking division of the day. Now we're back on this guy. So we can get, get our shots off, three shots. Do some okay damage, incapacitate him. And then the baby guns kick in. And uh, I, I have seen on various forums. Seen on Twitter, seen the Facebook page, seen on the, the Discord channel. A lot of different folks are pretty, pretty mixed, pretty pissed off about the inability to control the ship. Like, I don't care if it for But if you were, if you were able to at least, if you could independently select which ship you want your secondaries to fire at, you know. Then that would at least free up some space in the brain to process what's going on in the rest of the battle. For example, that destroyer that just tried to sneak up my tailpipe. Uh, I knew it was back there because he started shooting at me. My, my baby gun started shooting at him. If you could tell those secondaries, hey, focus on that guy, that frees up, you know, conscious thought for trying to put your primaries on a turret. And here you go. So here's the Freon. blocked by the superstructure, and I fire shots and kill a bunch of fish. 
That's all we managed to do there. So we start turning a little more to the port to see if I can't bring the rear guns in the battle. Get turned just enough to get those shots off. I've turned enough of my broadside to the baddies that now I'm starting to take hits. Now, the armor is probably the Corvo's only redeeming feature. If you're playing in a tier three fight against other tier three battleships, at range, you're probably pretty safe. I won't say that you're always going to be safe because no ship is always safe. Uh, nobody can build deal in absolute safety. So, uh, for the most part, at tier three, if you're looking at something at distance, most of their guns are not going to, to wreck you terribly, which is good. So finally we're here, Colbert comes back into sight, three and a half second lead time. Again, only bringing in three turrets, so six guns into play, and we're able to hit him for a couple thousand, but he's got company as well. Uh, nobody else on my team came this way. Uh, I do have a cruiser coming up with me, but he did not. He has not been over here. Nobody has been fighting this side. Or the, the, or the red guys already wiped our guys out, which is also more than possible. But I've seen the most of the offerings I have. I got into a conversation with Spartan at least one time from one of his videos because he had made some very similar comment like, I go into every battle anticipating that I'm going to have to do everything, that I'm going to have to win it all, and then I can be pleasantly surprised if his teammates, especially random, if you're partnered up with a bunch of animals, you are incredibly lucky that those folks will actually get on board with a team effort. It's one of those frustrating things. It's a nine-person game, right? It's a nine-person team. And they say there's no I in team. Okay, that's true. There isn't. Um, <laughs> and maybe that's the logic that people are using. No, there is a me in team. Because there sure the hell is in this game. I don't know why more people don't try to help each other out. See, all right, here we go. I made that turn to start, but I didn't do it because I was worried about this person. I started turning to the right because I knew that eventually I was gonna kill the guy in front of me, and I wanted to be able to bring more guns to bear back at the Colbert, rather than continue to be pinched in the ships. A position that I find myself in far more often than I probably should, because I know how to read a map. But that doesn't mean that I don't get hyper focused. Um, one of the worst things you can do is get tunnel vision in this game. Put your binoculars up and only look at the guy that you're shooting at, not zoom back out and try to pick up a little bit more of the uh, the periphery. That's a 25 cent rule for things outside of your binoculars. So yeah, get out there, take a look at what's going on. You don't fire your shots and then pull back. Watch them I can at that time. Of course that would be the one time that I didn't but you pull back out after you fired your shots and see what's going on there. Because sometimes you'll catch another ship that's out there that you have no idea where it's sitting there. Or there's torpedoes in the water that you weren't paying attention to because it's so easy to focus on what's going on with the ship that you're looking at. But you don't pay attention to the fact that there is already a torpedo indicator on your screen. Or where it's, you're on fire and flames at the bottom. You weren't paying attention to it because you're so damn focused on killing what's in front of you that you fail to realize the danger of your ship. So anyway, excruciatingly to slow turn right here as the turrets try to come back around. I mean, that was like five seconds right there, and then just off the center. But we get the shot, and it's time to start flipping around. Now one thing, and you're gonna notice, this irritated the hell out of me, and I, I don't, I, I blame myself for not having paid attention to what was going on in the battle. But I see that I'm spotted, I'm like, oh, okay, spotted by this cruiser. Maybe I should start looking at him. I have not once, during the course of this battle, looked up to see that this dude is capping our flag. He's been sitting in our base. I mean, it's a three minute cap when you're playing capture the base. And he's already done. So he's been sitting there for at least two minutes and 45 seconds, and nobody did him. I get the one salvo off, and all the rounds missed him. If I had hit him, it would have at least reset the cap a little bit, and maybe there would have been a chance. But I didn't, because I'm a moron, and I wasn't paying any attention. So it's a defeat in which we have multiple kills. You know, we did 59,000 damage, which isn't bad, 
uh, fell short of the Kraken. Maybe if we had a little more time, I could have wiped out that, that Duguay at the end of the round. But I didn't. But anyway, um, I still outperform my team. Um, damn near got that Kraken. That always irritates me. And I've got several videos you've probably seen or will see if you keep watching my stuff where I miss a Kraken by one. And it's, it's either because I screwed up myself or my teammates came along and stole a kill or in this case, I was just painfully unaware of what was going on in the map and let us all die. But anyway. All right, well, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. That was uh, that was my introduction to the Corbet. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, uh, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, do some sort of thing like that, and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what kind of stuff you'd like me to post. Uh, I'm, I'm down to play anything. Destroyers, cruisers, BBs, I don't care. I like them all. It's a challenge to learn how to mess around with a different play style. But anyway, all right, guys, that's all I got. Uh, fair winds and following seas to you. Uh, thanks for coming aboard. I'll catch you out there some other time. Lucky Captain Jack out.